Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So today in this video, we'll discuss about uh, some of the important aspects of Resume. And uh, here I have mentioned uh, some of the important uh, tips, but then I will also show you my own resume and I will show you my score that I have got on one of the resume checkers. And I will also share some of the links where you can check your resume as well. And I will also share some of the resources where you can find uh, some more tips and tricks and some action words and all those things. So I hope this video will give you a brief understanding about what are the important aspects of resume and what all things to put in. And uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional resume writer or anything, but I have taken multiple sessions from my career service team and uh, I was able to get a lot of useful insights from, uh, from them. And when I checked my resume score, it was around 60 initially. But then after multiple iterations and after uh, uh, adding and removing things and updating things, I was able to achieve somewhere around 80 score, which is uh, quite respectable. So yeah, uh, with that, I think I can give you a brief understanding and I hope it will help you. But as always, if you are new here or to subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. Now, with that being said, let's start our discussion. So yeah, we'll be discussing about resume. Um, yeah, so the thing is, uh, whenever you will uh, read some uh, tips and tricks, you will always find don't write in first person. Uh, but then I had to add it because it is actually very important. Don't add uh, first person like I, me, my, those kind of things. Don't add in your resume. Check for typos. And sometimes we use uh, latex and stuff and there we don't find a spell checker. In some we can actually find, but uh, there are few tools where we don't uh, find those spell checkers. So, and then when we export it, we forget to check our typos. And even if we are good with spellings, we tend to make some small typos. So do uh, consider that you always check your typos. And if you're making resume for UK, make sure you don't use Z. Instead, you should use S. So for example, here you have specialization and specialization, same thing. But then here using Z and S, I'm very used to using Z, but then uh, I have to be very sure that I'm using S because in UK we use S and not Z. And if you are making resume for US, then of course you can use uh, Z instead of S. And uh, yeah, your resume page length uh, should not exceed uh, two pages unless you have lots and lots of experience. Uh, and also somewhere I read you should keep your resume under thousand words so that is also something to keep in mind and uh, variety of action words so don't use uh, similar words all the time let's say you are saying i achieved this i managed to achieve this i uh, achieved this and that so you are you, you should not use the same word again and again i will show you some of the uh, a good bag of action words in this video so in the resource section where you will be able to find a lot of different action words which you can use in your resume and only add uh, relevant skills uh, don't add uh, all sorts of different skills you might be having experience in a lot of other things but don't add those things so let's say you are coming from a very different background and uh, let's say mechanical and you have done a lot of different projects in mechanical uh, industry but uh, then if they are not actually relevant to your data science career, uh, don't mention them. Uh, try to put as many useful uh, projects that you did uh, related to data science. Uh, put those in your resume. That will really help your resume. And uh, yeah, the last one is impact numbers. It is very important. Uh, sometimes what we do is uh, we just tell them that in my past company, I did so and so, and that's all. But then the thing is you should also tell them how your work actually impacted the company. So you are, let's say you worked as a data analyst and you analyze some data and you were able to bring some useful insights from the data and you were able to help the company grow their profits by let's say 10%, 20%. So mention those numbers as well. Um, it need not be just profits and stuff. You can also, uh, you might be in automation. So you automated uh, workflow and then the work process increased from uh, let's say some amount uh, by around let's say 50%. So mention those numbers as well in your resume. It actually helps you to uh, show them that your work was actually important. 
so these are some of the important uh, tips that i wanted to mention before uh, showing you my resume and uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of it i mean obviously go to the initial bit of the i messed it up com completely but then yeah you can go to the initial bit of the video and you can take a screenshot of this uh, so that you will have something in a summary uh, format now uh, that you have taken screenshot uh, let's move on to my resume or let me show you first uh, the score that i have got and uh, then we will move on to my resume and uh, i'll show I'll, i'll walk you through that so this is the resume checker tool that we have in our university there are tons and tons of resources out there you can check your resume there i will leave some of the links in the description so you can score your resume as well so as you can see i am getting somewhere around uh, 81 uh, score which is respectable again it can be improved uh, so if you see here when i checked my resume for the first time it was around 62 and then it improved to 77 and then 78 and now we are at 81 so and also there i have ma i made many uh, different iteration in between as well which i haven't uh, checked here but uh, my score was again uh, 62 and then somewhere around uh, 70 also so it has uh, increased gradually so it's not like on the day one when you make your resume you will be like okay this is my best resume and like i was talking about in a previous video your resume increase in your resume improves with different iterations so make sure that you keep on improving your resume and here you can see uh, different uh, things uh, so i have 88 in, in impact and all those things you can see here and if you go a little bit down Uh, you can find little bit summary so this is very specific to this tool but then you get similar things on different resume checker also so i mean there's no point in going through all the things on this i actually have a video uh, i will leave a card uh, somewhere here so you can watch that video in that uh, that is a resume checker tool and you can upload your resume you can score your resume you can get a useful insights from it and uh, i think i will leave one more uh, i think resume worded something like that so i will leave that tool as well in the link so you can check your resume there or if you have something very uh, specific from your university you can check that as well or if you are not in the university then obviously you can go for those tools so yeah you can see i am getting 81 score which is uh, okay uh, i can still improve a little bit um, so yeah with that uh, let me show you my resume so as you can see i am trying to keep it uh, nice and clean Uh, which is very important and uh, here i have my name and uh, some of the basic uh, details that i have done i have also added my portfolio i have added my youtube uh, linkedin github is very important github and linkedin is very important if you don't have these two and these are actually not i mean this is not that important i have i just put it but if you don't have uh, don't worry uh, portfolio i will make a next video how to make a portfolio so you will have portfolio as well and i would highly i would highly suggest you to have email github and linkedin and your profile uh, here and then of course you can add your phone number as well and uh, then give a very brief uh, summary about your what you are doing currently what is your past experience and what you want to do so i have added here uh, i'm studying in newcastle university and i have several years of experience in data industry and i'm seeking opportunity as data scientist or data analyst analyst and uh, also uh, i want to put my learnings to help the organization to grow so you can uh, formulate uh, your past experience what you are doing and all those things in few lines and this will give you a brief gist about yeah. what you are uh, and what you want to show from your resume and after that comes the skill and skills are very important because whenever you see some uh, job description there they mention what skills they want and if you have your skills mentioned here it will match your skill set with the job description and then the resume picker will pick your resume so you will increase your chances of uh, getting calls from the recruiter um so yeah here i have divided it into several sections programming language uh, database uh, dashboarding tools soft skills also you should put Uh, because i was not adding soft skills initially i added it just a month or so before so um yeah but in some of the job descriptions they also ask you to have these kind of soft skills which is actually very important uh, and i completely missed it so i have added it now and then there are some miscellaneous tools that you can add let's say github because nowadays 
most companies are using git so sometimes they add git also in their uh in their job description and you can add unix pandas whatever libraries you are using and if you are familiar with some of the uh, platforms like databricks or if you are familiar with uh, some of the packages like uh, r packages this is an r this is an r package a project template and computer vision natural language processing and crisp dm is again something similar to agile methodology so i don't think any company would use this one anymore but still if there is someone who might be using so i'll just add it so yeah uh, you can uh, structure your skills in this format rather than putting uh, bold heading skill and or add all your skills in a paragraph or bullet points uh, rather than that i think doing this is uh, much more readable to even to the uh, recruiter so that will really help you now uh, moving on to the education part so i am currently doing a masters in data science so you should actually put a uh, quite a lot of weightage on your current education or uh, masters in whatever you are doing so here as you can see i am uh, adding uh, the date of course and then the university name and what uh, degree i am doing and i am doing a specialization in ai uh, but if you are not doing then you can again uh, leave it uh, after that there is a small section where i am uh, mentioning all the modules that i am covering I mean, not exactly all the modules, but most of the modules which are very much relevant to data science, I have added uh, here, and I have also added what tools I was using in uh, those in those modules. Because when uh, whenever a job description will have Power BI and it will see there is uh, Power BI multiple times, it will increase the chances of your resume to get picked rather than if you just have mentioned once. But it's not compulsory, but it's always it always helps your resume to get shortlisted. so just like that i have added all the uh, tools that i learned in each of the modules now with that uh, in uh, inside this i have added different bullet points and each bullet point represents a project that i have done and uh, the main idea behind adding a project here is to give a very brief understanding to the recruiter what exactly the project was and also adding some of the key uh, keywords that might be there in the job description so and you can see here there is uh, the data visualization there is eda statistical analysis r language and uh, yeah so similar sort of things crisp dm git project template r language so you can see uh, there are so many uh, keywords here and uh, they will if they appear in the if they appear in the job description uh, it will help your resume to be uh, picked and uh, that was master this is bachelor's in bachelor's we had i was from computer science background so i had a lot of different programming skills and stuff but then only my final year project was actually based on machine learning so i have added that and i have published a paper also so if you have some publication you can also add your paper in your resume uh, now with that uh, let's move on to the experience part so here you can see i have added my various experiences so again uh, whatever you are doing most recently put that and then so on and so forth so here i am doing a uh, internship in uh, national innovation center of aging and uh, i have explained a little bit about what i am doing here i don't have any impact number as of now because the project is still going on but if you see uh, somewhere here uh, let me just erase this one so if you uh, see Uh, on in this section and in this section i have actually mentioned those impact numbers so you can see you can add impact number something like this so if you see here uh, build an email classifier uh, which the team used to do manually and hence the process got faster by 50 to 55% so uh, you can see here and then here also i have added some uh, impact numbers so the, the this actually helps a lot and i have added some numbers here as well so uh make sure that you add all these things in your resume because this actually uh, uh tell them that the credibility of your work like i mentioned in the earlier part of the video so this um this interest part is very optional if you want to keep it you can keep it if you want to remove it you can remove it um i have added because i also like photography and then there is uh, the, the instagram page that i have for photography so i just mentioned it if somebody is want to look into it they can look and all the other interests that i have but this is not actually important uh, you can just skip it if your resume is already pretty lengthy 
uh, maybe in few time I will remove this section, but for now I'm just keeping it, or maybe I will just remove it after this video. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's it's that option. So it's not uh, very important. Now uh, that you have seen the seen my resume, now let me take you to some of the resources that you can uh, find. Actually, it is my university website, and I think it is available to everyone. So uh, this is something. I mean, these two tabs are not that important because this is very specific to the uh, student of the university. But then if you go to example section, again, I will leave this uh, link in the description. So if you go to example section here, you can find resume from very uh, various backgrounds and you can also find a resume from IT background here down at the bottom. And uh, if you go to academic uh, research tab and here you will find this booklet which has tons and tons of very useful information. You know, you can, if you read this, you will get a very in-depth knowledge about resume. And then like I told you, there are these action words which you can use in your resume. So you don't really have to use achieve all the time. You can use a lot of different uh, words. And here also you have some key things to consider. And this is the actually summary page, which is the last page, but then inside also you have a lot of things which you should actually read. So yeah, like I told, I will leave this link in the description and feel free to download this and make good use of it. I hope it will help you to make your resume really good. And uh, one thing very important is if you are in the university, make sure you go to your career service team and take multiple appointments with them, do your resume and show them how is it. Ask their feedback. They will tell you something, make the changes, then go back to them, ask them again. And uh, until you feel like, okay, your resume is somewhat good and you're getting good score on those resume checker platforms. So that should be your goal. And uh, don't be shy to go to career service team. They are your friends. So they are there to help you. So yeah, uh, I have gone to career service team multiple times to uh, get my resume evaluated. And that's why I was able to achieve somewhere around 81 score on my resume. Because again, I like it all, I had 60 in the beginning and uh, then it improved to 81 which is good so yeah this is what i wanted to discuss in this video and i hope you found this video helpful um, if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, all the links will be in the description and uh, if we want to download data science notes you can download data science notes link in the description join our telegram group uh, there we have a very useful uh, conversation uh, with the, all the people there and don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment, all those good things. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, I try to bring all these kind of videos for you. And also, I will make a portfolio video very soon. And also, I will make a video uh, how to find job in different ways, uh, apart from traditional way, because usually we just put our resume on different portals and we wait for the employers to reach out to us. Rather than that, we can do any, many other things as well. So I will discuss about that as well in upcoming videos. So if you want to check out those videos, do subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah, so see you in the next video. Bye. Happy learning.